Hey guys, what's up? Bisectron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with a next war recap video, and got two sets of bad news and one good news. Uh, so we're going to start with the bad news first, of course. Uh, another loss, two in a row. Um, don't think it's happened ever. Yeah, it hasn't happened ever, so first two in a row loss. Um, disappointing, and even more disappointing than the one before, just... Uh, didn't get the job done, you know, they got everything taken care of besides our top two guys, and this can't happen, you know, we gotta get the two stars on these guys, and three stars on everyone else, so, it was definitely disappointing, you know, got got it taken care of down low, but the top guys did not come through for us at all, uh, but, you know, problems were taken care of, that's all I'm gonna say, not gonna be a reoccurring problem, but, uh, I did have a pretty nice three star here on their number three. This is, a, you know, a Town Hall 9, uh, has Town Hall 8 level defenses, but has those expos, the queen. Layout's kind of weird, but it's somewhat effective. Uh, dropping a hog, know there's a giant bomb there. Uh, quick giant to lure out the CC. And then I tried to get a wall breaker in there to set off the other bomb, but didn't quite get it. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom here. All the giant bombs are next to the wizard towers. So I can drop another giant and then a wall breaker, and that'll set off uh, the next giant bomb. So got two of them down, uh, the other two next to those wizard towers. I uh, had another wall breaker, so did the same thing, and got the job done on the left side. And then I'm going to wait on the right side because I don't need to do it right away. My hogs aren't going to be deployed there right away. But anyway, dropping wizards, archers, uh, going to shoot down that dragon real quickly, and then they'll move on to the balloons. So pretty efficient CC kill there. Uh, everything's going down real quickly, and that's going to help create my funnel on that side. Max Packer from the CC, courtesy of Chris and 49er War Clan. Uh, shout out to him if he's watching this for donating me the Max Pekka, because uh, he's not in this clan, but he stopped by to do it, because uh, it was pretty important. But anyway, have the hogs going in, and I'm deploying them so that uh, they're going to take out these point defense, then make their way into like the air defense area, right where that one air defense is, and from there they'll make their way into the core. So as you can see, a few hugs going off to the side, but most of them going to the middle, dropping a rage and a heal. Uh, the P.E.K.K.A. took out the queen along with the king, so they took out both heroes. Uh, the king, my king and the P.E.K.K.A. took out the defensive king and the queen, uh, so good trade there. And then that P.E.K.K.A. still has a ton of health because it's so powerful at Town Hall 8. Uh, dropping the next last heal for the hogs, and they're going to go ahead and clean up the rest of this base. No problem. We'll fast forward. Um, Queen was the main threat, and the P.E.K.K.A. broke through that wall and took her out. So everything went well. Few troops, few, few troops were clean up, and then last building to go down will be the town hall, and that'll do it. So one of my better attacks I think I've had in a while. Uh, I was excited to get that one. Um, sorry, not Inferno Mage. It was a good attack, but I'm gonna show another one. Uh, we're looking at K.F.S. Junior, and this is the kind of stuff that, you know, those Town Hall 9s that don't have drag, or, sorry, those Town Hall 7s that don't have dragons, and KFS does, by the way, but if you don't, this can be an effective method. Uh, it's kind of like a giant balloon type thing. Um, it, you know, most of the time you're going to want to use dragons, but it, it does, it works, and it's good to have people in the clan that don't use dragons at Town Hall 7. Just because if everyone uses dragons, it seems like there's going to be that one base that can't be beaten with dragons or something. And I'm not sure if that exists at Town Hall 7, but if it does, it won't be an issue because KFS uh, is able to use a ground troop composition to destroy these bases. Kind of a hybrid, has the balloons too. Uh, but anyway, takes out the CC troops, drops giants, uh, so it doesn't lose hardly any troops to the CC troops because uh, the giants go out and tank. Uh, King there with some wizards going to take out the enemy king, drop a nice rage and a heal. Uh, all of his troops, giants, wizards, going to make their way into the base real fast. Uh, take out that first air defense, so that's halfway there. Now he needs to take out the second air defense and has a CC full of hogs. Going to drop right there with a heal on them, and they'll take out the second air defense. While that's going on, he can go ahead and start the balloons where the air defense can't cover it. Uh, just making their way in nice and slowly. And they'll take out these last few point defense because you can see his giants, all that stuff starts to kind of, you know, go down 
doesn't have any tanks out in front, but the balloons are kind of the next wave of the attack, and they are really helpful because uh, most of the time, once the air defenses are down, there's not much the base can do. Only thing is, it doesn't have a whole lot of cleanup troops. You can see all these buildings. It has a minion for those builders' huts. That was smart. But doesn't maybe save a wizard or something because uh, got kind of lucky on the time here. But balloons are very bad cleanup troops, and they're going to take forever to make their way around. Has one hog, a minion, his king. Uh, so it has enough time, but save some goblins, some wizards, barch, all that good stuff for cleanup. But worked out nicely here. Last one we're going to look at is Dark Mage on, you know, lower level stuff's what you guys have been asking for. But this base is pretty solid for a low level base. Uh, he dissects it pretty well though, uh, dropping a few troops, going to lure out the CC. Uh, drag him over to the left by the barracks. You can see a Valk, a Balloon, um, some Archers. One more Giant, uh, I think just wasn't sure if it was emptied or not, but it has the Balloons and the Valk out. And he'll take those out in just a moment. And these can be hard to kill at Town Hall, whatever he is, Town Hall 4, Town Hall 5. These are tough to kill, but if you drop the Wizards, drop the Archers all at once in a circle, uh, it can get the job done. So, as you can see, he drops pretty much all his Wizards and Archers, all that stuff's down. Uh, so pretty big investment there, uh, but gets the job done. And then, that's the thing. If you're going to invest that many troops to kill the CC troops, drop those Giants on the same side. That's going to be helpful. It loses a few to spring traps, but this way the wizards and the archers can start taking out these trash buildings. You don't want to run out of those troops. Uh, attack on the same side. Put the giants down next to those CC troops. Anyway, though, hogs making their way in. Take out the air defense. That was the only goal of the hogs. Just get that air defense down. They get like an archer tower or something. I think a cannon. Got the cannon, too. And then from there, just some nice balloons. Doesn't bunch them up. I think someone attacked this base before and bunched them up too much. Uh, keep them spread out. Obviously at level 2 you're going to need clumps of like 4 or 5, but besides that, keep them spread out. You don't want uh, your balloons bunching up, because if they get hit by an air bomb, that can take like half their health. Uh, and then on wizard towers, that can pretty much do them in. So be really careful about that. Uh, don't put all your balloons together, because two air bombs and they're done. So keep them spread out, but keep them in groups like 4 or 5 so they can take out buildings uh, with one drop at a time. But anyway, uh, like I said, those archers, wizards, that's huge for cleanup. Still has those up because he dropped the giants on the same side, hogs on the same side, protecting those wizards and archers. And then the balloons obviously help with cleanup as well. So nice job to Dark Mage. Alright, that's going to do it for this war recap. Um, the other bad news I have to get to now is that in 49er War Clan, obviously had a war against the Troll Clan, which I talked about before. Um, all their bases were just troll bases, easy war, they didn't even attack really. Uh, so very disappointing, nothing to show from that. And then the next war, uh, we're a Town Hall 10 slash Town Hall 9 clan. We have about 8 Town Hall 9s, uh, and we got matched up with a clan that had all Town Hall 10s, and also all level 40 heroes. So a huge mismatch, nowhere near where we are, nowhere in the ballpark. Not sure how it happened, I made a video on clan matchmaking, uh, but not sure what the mathematics that went into that were, but definitely doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to bring what, you, what I can from that war, but not going to be a whole lot. So the only good news really is that we got a nice war coming. Uh, as you can see, destroyed this one clan. Got some good attacks to show, so I'm excited to do the war recap for that. And I might just do another war recap on this clan and not the 49er war clan, just because the war was so uh, terrible that we got matched up with. But maybe you'll see some stuff from there, too. We'll see. Uh, that's going to do it, though. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.